It's the 64 Showcase! Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, and it's time! Time for the main event of the Mario Party 3 CPU Tournament here on the 64 Showcase. The dual preliminaries are all done with, and we are moving on to the main tournament in the Battle Royale maps, so let's go! Our first round is going to feature our dual round winners, who, by the way, all went undefeated. This is truly going to be a battle of champions here, and it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Of course, we need to jump in at first, just to get things started. And our combatants are going to be Wario, with his preferred item, the Dueling Glove. Much like Mario Party 2, every character has a preferred item. Waluigi, who likes the Poison Mushroom. Princess Peach, our current superstar and absolutely brutal, dominating dual round champion, who just obliterated Daisy. That was very much fun to watch. She likes the Plunder Chest. And of course, the lovable Yoshi, who likes the Warp Block. There they are, what a crew. We will be all equal difficulties, of course, set on hard. We will not be using any handicaps. We will be heading to uh, Chilly Waters. And we're going to be playing a light play 20 turn game. Though an interesting thing of note is that you can actually set up a custom game in this, starting in this Mario Party where you can decide how many turns you want to play anywhere from 10 to 50. So if you just want to play a really quick game, you can do that if you want to. But we will be going for the standard light play of 20 turns. And of course, we will be playing all mini games, not just the easy set. Interesting that they've got three different set options, but you can only pick between either all of them or just the easy one. Which is a little strange. But anyway, this will feature much more than the dual boards. We have the classic four-player 2v2 and 1 versus 3 mini-games. In addition, battle games and item games also make a return for Mario Party 2, but this time, instead of being, uh, instead of the item games being tied to a board, much more like the dual games, so you now have a diff big category of different item games to play, so that should be fun. And of course, just for the chaos of last minute upsets, we will be having the bonus stars. Are these settings okay? They sure as heck are, Tumble. Ready for the battle royale? Here we go! Welcome to Chilly Waters. You're all here! Welcome to the legendary Chilly Waters! In this snowy, freezing land, you'll battle to become the superstar. Now before we begin, we need to determine the turn order. Yeah, as usual, his explanations are a bit brief. It should be noted that in this game, they included a full story mode, so the boards don't have their own little individual stories that they had in the last couple Mario Party games. Which is kind of a shame, I really like that aspect. And it is also, of course, notable that we no longer have our funny little costumes for Mario Party 2, which, again, is rather a shame. But anyway, we've got to hit this dice block for Wario just to get him going. A 10! There we go. Which works out for me, because since the Millennium Star doesn't want to explain anything about the board, it'll let me do it. Turn order has been determined. First is Wario. Second is Waluigi. Fourth is Peach. And fourth is Yoshi. I think I said fourth is Peach. Third is Peach. I can count. Finally, a present for everyone. I'll give you ten coins each. Don't waste them. Good luck and try to become the superstar. Start the game! And much like in the other Mario Party games, 
we get to see where the star is. Toad is no longer our host of these games. The Millennium Star is instead, so we don't go to Toad and give 20 coins to him for a star. We go to the Millennium Star instead. Toad plays a different role in the Battle Royale boards. He now runs the item shop along with Koopa Kid, or uh, ba Baby Bowser, rather. He's got like seven different names. I can never get them straight. Anyway, before we switch things over, we can take a quick look at the board here just to explain what the heck is going on. Uh, we have the return of the bank spaces, which work much like they do in Mario Party 2. This is our item space with Toad here in the center. Various things will happen when we go to that. The item shop, of course, makes a return. In this game, you can have three items instead of uh, two, instead of one, excuse me. You could have one in Mario Party 2, you can have three in Mario Party 3. That's a little confusing, but whatever. The Goomba, of course, here is our battle minigame space. The Shy Guy is, of course, Game Guy. Yes, Game Guy will be causing more chaos. And let's see, let's see, anything else of note I should talk about? I don't think so. Boo is back. We've got Bowser spaces, we've got red spaces, blue spaces, chance time spaces, happening spaces. And the main feature of Chili Waters here is this little junction point here. If two or more players are on this icy rink here uh, at, a, at the same time, the ice will start to crack and they will have to rush to this safe point over here. So, while you can take quick shortcuts around the board by going through here, if you try to take the shortcut at the same time as someone else, you might end up getting thrown off your path, so that would be interesting to see what happens. Anyway, we are going to set Wario up as a hard computer player and get things started properly here. Of course, much like the dual boards, we'll have all our options set as shown on screen. And, here we go. Wario rolling a one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is exactly, almost exactly how <laughs> Mario Party 2 started with the first roll revealing a hidden block. He didn't get a star, he got a skeleton key instead, adding it to his item inventory. Oh boy. How, what are the chances of that? Princess Peach hit in the bank. Having to deposit five coins. Uh, Waluigi, I was too flabbergasted what happened. He got a blue space, as did Princess Peach here. Yoshi rolling an eight. High roller. And also depositing five coins. And hitting a blue space as well. We're already on our first minigame. Four players. Cheap, cheap chase. I think this may have been the first four-player minigame I ever played in Mario Party 4, uh, 3, honestly. Too many numbers. Players have to swim across this path away from the giant Cheep Cheep, diving under the water to avoid bombs which the Cheep Cheep uh, conveniently eats and gets them out of the way. If you hit a bomb, you get stunned and you get knocked backwards. Basically, the first person to reach the end wins. Waluigi seems to have a bit of an advantage right now. It's always a little hard to tell what Waluigi is doing or how things are going to fare in comparison to him there because he's so long and big. But it looks like Princess Peach won that. I thought Waluigi would have. Again, it, it's a little confusing. And as per usual, 10 coins is the standard minigame victory, putting Princess Peach in an early lead. Wario rolling a seven. Also making a trip to the bank, needed to make a deposit. And going right after Yoshi here. Waluigi getting that 10. Losing five coins as well. Bank has already racked up a good number of coins there. And making a visit to the item shop. It's Toad! Toad and Baby Bowser take turns running the item shop, and they both have a different inventory of items. They do sell some of the same things, standard things like mushrooms and skeleton keys. 
but uh, some items you can only get from one or the other. For example, the magic lamp you can only get from Toad, while a different lamp you can get from Baby Bowser. Princess Peach has enough money to buy something, but she doesn't really want it at the moment. Yoshi! Also... Visiting the item shop, but not really wanting anything. Let's see what our next minigame is gonna be. Awful Tower! That's not very nice. This is basically a race to the finish. Players have to climb the tower by jumping from block to block. You can grab some bonus coins along the way if you'd like. And you have to avoid hammer strikes as you're climbing. First to the top wins! Pretty standard stuff. A good amount of a time li limit here. Don't have to worry about running out of time too often on this unless you just really suck at platforming games. Ooh, Princess Peach taking a blow there. Yoshi uh, and Waluigi actually uh, making more progress. Oh, all, all of them are right at the top now. Oh, Yoshi messes up his jump. Wario's almost there, but he falls down as well. There's a lot happening on screen right now. And Yoshi makes it to the top. And he is the winner. Very nice. But, people do get a little bit of a reward from that minigame from the bonus coins they grab. Regardless if you come in first or not, you do get to keep those. Yeah. Wario, not doing too great in the coin department. Waluigi, too. But Wario did get that free skeleton key, that might help him out. Star Space is rather close to everything at the start of the game here. Princess Peach rolling high. She gets the first star of the game. First star of the tournament. She probably wants to keep her superstar status intact. Which, I wouldn't blame her. Next star going up this way. To get to that star, you either have to cross the pond or you have to go through the skeleton key gate up there. So, players definitely have some options on how they want to proceed. Princess Peach chooses... Choose, excuse me. Got caught by a pickup or a burp there for a second. Princess Peach! Visiting the store, Baby Bowser was there. Didn't want an item though, didn't have enough coins for it. Yoshi going up this way. Going on the lake! And the ice looks, looks like it might crack if another player stops on it. Or player game, Messy Memory. This is always a bit of a hectic minigame. You have to memorize the positions of the items on the shelves. The toads come in and mess everything up, and players have to put the items back as accurately as they remember them. Whoever gets this the most accurate puts the items back in the proper spaces is the winner. See, I wasn't really paying too much attention, so I don't know where everything's supposed to go. Hmm. And you can close the curtain to try and hide your progress from your opponents so they don't try to copy your work. Waluigi just barely getting under the time limit there. Princess Peach, I think, actually made a change that screwed her up there, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Wow, they really did awful. Waluigi, though, comes out on top with seven points. Depending on your memory, it can be a little difficult to get that game perfect, but I have done it before. So it's entirely possible. Wario, rolling a ten, a lot of high rolls going on. Choosing to go up, he might be trying to loop around and get to that skeleton key door. And Waluigi landing on an item space and triggering an item minigame. Swing and swipe! 
a pretty box standard game here. There's a different item in every treasure chest, and Waluigi has to smack the baby Bowser of his choice with a hammer. Then he gets the item in the chest that they're holding. He's going right for that one and back. What did he get? He got his item of choice, the, the uh, poison mushroom. Poison mushroom, yeah. Poison mushroom, when used, you can use it on any other player. And it causes them in their next dice roll to only be able to roll as high as a three. Princess Peach also getting an item minigame. Also didn't really explain the skeleton key. You oh, use that on certain gates on the map. Though I guess that much should have been obvious. Dory Dip is our next minigame. The Dory spins the rafts round and round. And... In classic Mario 64 fashion, doing a ground pound, dips the whore, Dory's head down, and the raft he grabs the item you get. Or she, I forget. But Princess Peach gets a Boo Bell, which is an item that is actually returning for Mario Party 2, but I don't think we ever saw it. The Boo Bell lets you call Boo to you. And we have this a little bit of a challenge there. Randomly, players will slip on the ice as they're trying to exit the frozen lake there. Yoshi, going right for that bank space. Landing on the bank space gets you all the coins in the bank. And yes, the Boo Bell lets you call Boo to you instead of having to go to Boo on the board. And you can benefit from his, uh, stealing ways. I just missed the name of this minigame. I can't remember what it is, but players have to watch the dancers on stage and then they are asked different trivia questions about them. Who was the first person from the left? I believe you have to do this three times. And whoever guesses the right answer the most wins. Everyone got that one right there. Let's see. <coughs> we have Goomba, Boo, Koopa, Koopa, Goomba all dancing on stage. Dancing off, and in comes Toad. Who was the first person from the left? You do only have the three options to pick from. They don't add in any other dancers or anything like that. Oh, looks like Yoshi didn't get, get that right. And when you guess wrong, you are eliminated and you can't guess anymore. And you're forced to dance. Look at him go. Yeah. Who is the second person from the right? Let's see how our... Everyone does. Everyone's switching it at the last second to Koopa. And there you go. Peace. Wario, Waluigi, and Peach all are getting all three questions right, which means they all get 10 coins. Poor Yoshi. Though he does have 44 coins from landing on the bank space, so I guess he's not too, uh, too uh, not well off. I can't think of the word there I want to say. <laughs> Wario going down, opening up that skeleton key door. And looks like he gets the next star. He got it. Well done, Wario. The next star is up this way. Yoshi actually avoided going towards the star to get the bank space, but now he's on his way. Oh, and we've got a happening space. Mario Party 3 introduces a new feature called Action Time, where all the boards have a different sort of quick time mini game that they can, that can occur. In the case of Chili Waters, a Big Mr. Blizzard tosses a snowball down, and players have to jump over it if they're in the snowball's path. Yoshi jumped over that snowball quite nicely.
Princess Peach using her Boo Bell. Summoning Boo to her to make use of his services. Much like Mario Party 2, you can either pay 5 coins to steal coins from another player, or you can steal a star for 50 coins. Princess Peach, very confusingly going after Wario, continuing that trend of the AI for some reason just targeting the person in the highest place instead of targeting the person with the most coins, which would make way more sense. In this case, since Peach is in first, she targeted Wario, who's in second, and only got seven coins for it. You can also stop by the Mr. Blizzard up here to trigger the action time yourself, which rolls the snowball for five coins, but yet Yoshi... Why did he do that? The only person in the path of the snowball was himself, and... Okay, uh, Yoshi gets the next star. <laughs> that... that was confusing. I feel like that's going to continue being a trend of the AI making very confusing decisions. <laughs> but that's part of the charm of this game, I suppose. Char part of the charm of these tournaments. Yoshi gets the next star. The next star location is all the way back near the beginning of the board. And Yoshi unfortunately lands on a Bowser space. Much like the last couple Mario Party games, when you land on a Bowser space, Bowser comes in and causes all sorts of trouble from a roulette. Bowser's coin potluck. Each of you give him 10 coins, if you have 10 coins. Oh dear. All of a sudden, Waluigi is the only player who has enough coins to get a star. Though I think he's pretty far away from where the star is. We've got our first two versus two minigame though. Etch and catch. In your team of two, you have to work together using giant crayons to circle toad stamps. As long as you form at least the vague shape of a circle around the stamp, you get a point. And whoever gets the most at the end of the game wins. Typically, your, uh... Cran will run out before you can make a circle by yourself, so you really have to work together with your partner the best you can. Yoshi and Wario just not able to get that circle to go. And it looks like Waluigi and Peach are the winners. Very nice. Pinch's Peach doing very well for herself in first place there. She's uh managed to win a couple mini games too, so she might be in line for a mini game bonus star. Wario choosing to head this way, landing on the bank space, but unfortunately there are no coins in the bank. Oh well. He could have used that money too. Waluigi! trying to exit the frozen lake, and he makes it. I believe if you fail to get up that icy ramp there, you just sort of stop and you lose the rest of your turn. Princess Peach paying five coins. And hitting that happening space. Cause an action time to go off. This time the bowl, ball is rolling in the other direction. Peach and Wario both making their jump. And it rolls off. If someone is on the path on the sides of the boards there, it they will um, also have to jump over. The ball kind of rolls downwards after that. But if no one's in the way, the minigame just sort of ends early. Yoshi playing a one-player item minigame, Swickin' with Sharks! Swinging all the way to the end, getting himself a magic lamp. Your timing and the position of the swing is very important there. If you end up swinging at the wrong time, you can actually swing all the way over the items and fail the minigame. Or if you don't swing soon enough, the same thing could happen and you just fall off the swing. Anyway, we've got ourselves another 2v2 minigame. This is a bonus minigame where 
players just have to collect as many coins as possible. I believe it's called Paddle Battle. I wasn't looking at the roulette for a second there, sorry about that. Hammer Bro in the center throws out coins and hammers into the water. And it's really just a race to grab as many coins as you can. Players have to work together to steer their raft around the pond here. And depending on your teamwork, it can really impact the number of coins you manage to get. Yoshi and Peach making off with a nice 19 coins, though that 12 coins on Wario and Waluigi's side isn't anything to sneeze at. Very good, very good. Our players are all doing fairly well at this point. Waluigi's the only one without a star, but he does have a lot of coins to his name. So his options are open for doing a lot of really interesting things. Wario choosing to roll that snowball. Rolling in the other direction. Now here's something interesting. Let's see what happens. Yeah, if the snowball rolls in your direction, you can actually use it to your advantage, letting you go around the board faster. If you want to get closer to the star quicker, you can choose just not to jump over the snowball and it will chase you down the board quite a ways. In a way, it's a really good way to gain some momentum and try and gain an advantage if you need it. We've got another Bowser event going on. Waluigi, 15 coins to Bowser. Well, I had to go and talk about how much money Waluigi had and then he lost some. Sorry, that might be my fault. Princess Peach rolling a three, getting a blue space. Pretty standard stuff there. Yoshi, he's got that magic lamp and of course he's going to use it. The magic lamp, much like Mario Party 2, allows you to make a trip directly to the star. It is a fantastic way to cut off your opponents in case someone is right near the star or if you just really need that extra star. Mushroom Kadabra riding on his back all the way to the star space. And another star to Yoshi is suddenly taking first place. The next star, where is it? Where is it? All the way over there. Oh, poor Princess Peach. One space beyond the star space. She is as literally as far away from that star as she could possibly get. But Wario is on his way there, and if he can win this next mini game, he'll have himself a second star as well. A 1 versus 3 mini game, the Thwomp Pull. I believe this is our first 1 versus 3 game. Thwomps are pulling you down a snowy path, and the first person or first team in this case to get to the end is the winner. You have to press the buttons in order. The difference in this game is that. Waluigi there has to press all three buttons to go forward, but on the team of three, each player is in charge of a different thwomp and a different button. Snowballs get tossed in the way which will stun you and keep you from moving for a while, but not if they make impact with the thwomps, that's an important note. Only if you get hit the player do you end up getting stunned. And Waluigi pulling out a narrow victory there, just ahead of the other team. But he's still stuck down in fourth place because he doesn't have a star. Which is terribly unfortunate. Wario, rolling a five. Choosing not to go down to the star space. I guess just because he doesn't have enough coins, he wants to try and do something else. We've got a happening space in action time once again. Waluigi's gonna have to jump quickly, or he's gonna let it chase him. Yes, he's gonna let it chase him. This honestly is the fastest way to get around the board sometimes. Yep, he's just letting it chase him all the way down here. Put him right in front of the star. Very, very good. Princess Peach getting a red space. Yoshi! 
going to exit the frozen lake, but he slips and falls. And... He doesn't get to move on because of that. He just gets stalled right where he is. Two versus two, a Cosmic Coaster. Another race to the finish sort of deal. Players are on their coaster with these swiveling platforms on them and have to steer around the different Bowser barricades together. If one of you gets hit, it stuns you for a second and slows you down. There are bonus coins to collect along the way should you be inclined to try and grab them. And it looks like, very narrowly, Waluigi and Peach end up pulling out a victory there. Very nice. But everyone gets a couple little extra coins there, so that's all good. Finish saving. Wario. Rolling a seven. What's he gonna get? Let's see if he can get out of here. He does. Getting a blue space, getting three coins. Not bad, not bad. Waluigi getting a six and getting his first star. We've still got a good amount of this game to go, and there's a good number of stars on the board already. Things are pretty even so far, so it's going to be difficult to try and determine a winner here. Ooh, and the next star is right in Waluigi's path, right at the beginning of the board there. But Princess Peach is also on her way there. If she rolls high enough, she will get it this turn. Ooh, only gets a three, but lands on the bank space. Getting that five coins stored in the bank. Yoshi, rolling a two. Let's see if he can get off the lake. He does, but he lands right on a Bowser space. Let's see what Bowser's got in store for us this time. 20 coins for Bowser, pretty standard stuff. Oh dear. Poor Yoshi losing all of his money. He's got first place by the grace of his stars alone, but overall, I don't think he's doing too well. It is gonna be a tough competition. Next minigame, four players, Baby about Oh no, this is two versus two, excuse me. Baby Bowser Broadside. Players have to try and shoot the Baby Bowser target in the middle of the board, the circle here as quickly as possible to rack up points. The uh, barricades in the middle rotate around and as the minigame goes on, you also start to rotate so you have to adjust your position and your angle, trying to hit that target as many times as possible. This tends to be a pretty frantic high-scoring minigame, so it can be difficult to tell who's gonna win. Looks like Yoshi and Waluigi have it right now, but not quite. Oh, okay, winning by one point. <laughs> that almost ended in a draw there, but Waluigi and Yoshi narrowly get our get, get them a victory. Okay. Wario, rolling a 10, rolling high. Landing on a blue space, not bad, not bad. Waluigi also rolling high, I believe he just got that star. Having to pay five coins in the meanwhile, but... Waluigi suddenly finding himself in first place here. Getting himself his second star and overtaking Yoshi. Okay. The next star is up this way. Oh. Oh no. That is terrible tumble. Poor Wario on the star space. Yes, that can happen. Oh, which means that he loses his chance at getting that star. That's a shame. It's really a shame. Much like in Mario Party 2, stars can only appear on blue spaces, so... You don't have to worry about it showing up on a happening space or red space or anything if you're on there. Yoshi thinking about buying an item, but he ends up not taking it. 
Sometimes the AI does that. They go in like they're looking to buy an item, but then they just back out. So, I don't know. Maybe what he wanted wasn't there. Yoshi choosing not to roll Mr. Blizzard Snowball and landing on our first battle game space. Much like Mario Party 2, everyone has to deposit a certain number of coins into the pot. A 20 coin battle, not everyone has that. And the winner of the minigame gets a majority of the coins with second place. Basically, typically gets their money back. Locked Out is our battle minigame. It's a race to grab the right key. There are only so many doors to unlock, and the first three, or as we go on, the first players to get to the doors in time move onward. You have to grab the key that matches the door and get there first. You can beat each other up to try and knock the key out of each other's hands. And now, we've got two doors, but only one mushroom key. It's gonna be a fight to get it. Waluigi getting to the door first and making his way out, meaning he is our winner. But Yoshi comes in second, so he does get a few coins back there. And much like in Mario Party 2, uh, sometimes a coin is left over and it gets tossed to a random player. Not bad, not bad. One versus three minigame, Coconut Kunk. Definitely one of the sillier minigames. The one player is in a barrel at the bottom there, and the three players up on top of the coconut trees have to ground pound the trees and knock coconuts down onto him. Teamwork is key here, trying to trap the one player on the bottom, and you don't want to end up stomping on each other's heads because it can mess you up and mess up your momentum. Waluigi has to carefully maneuver around the coconuts, but he ends up getting hit by one. Meeting Peach, Yoshi, and Wario win.